You know what I've been thinking, and this might be my favourite shoe of the year. Yeah. What's good guys, Ash Bash, back again with another sneaker review, and this is for the Nike MX1 Black Schematic. So right off the bat, this might actually be top, it's definitely in the top five so far sneaker pickups of the year. And that's crazy because about 20 minutes before release, I wasn't really, really that interested until I actually looked into it and I was like, these are kind of fire. Um, I was, had my eyes on the OG red pair from the sketch to self pack and the black pair was like, I just literally just didn't look at it. For some reason, it just never really popped up on my feed. I never really paid attention. All I saw was the OG red one. So I was like, okay. And then my mate was talking to me about it. Shout out to Drips. And um, I was like, actually, let me check these out properly. And I was like, you know what? These are fire. Went to go and buy them, took it L as expected. And then I think it was yesterday or maybe the day before, chilling at home, doorbell rings, delivery, and that pair is received. And I'm like, really? Turns out my girlfriend who entered also had one. She didn't tell me, so I was super gassed, super surprised. And yeah, let's get to the shoe. So the shoe comes in your standard red Nike box. Would have been cool if it had some sort of special sketched out box. That would have been sick. But is what it is, I'll take it on the chin. Uh, on the box itself, it says Nike Max 1, sketch to shelf. And I got these in a UK 10, which is my standard sizing for Air Max 1s. Enough with the box, let's get to the shoe. And boom, here is the shoe in all its glory. And I can see it on the camera and it just looks mad. I was saying to this to some of my friends, this shoe, when I photograph it, it's like it looks photoshopped, just like, it's not even real because of the pattern of it. It's just mad. Like the whole little black with the white piping to it. It's Daniel, I can't remember his name. Is it Daniel Velez or something like that? I mentioned it before when I did my Phantom Dawn and One video. But he has an art style where his stuff, he paints it in like white and black. And it sort of stands out and looks kind of just weird and cartoonish. And that's kind of what you see, especially on camera for this shoe. And it is absolutely crazy. So anywho. Let's get close up some details because there's a lot going on with this shoe. So shape wise and model wise, obviously it's your standard Air Max 1 uh, silhouette. All in this black nubuck, like all over black nubuck. Very stick, very striking. But what makes it actually striking is because of the old white piping and obviously the white text all around the shoe. The whole theme behind the whole sketch to shelf pack is sort of like Tinker Hatfield who made the Air Max 1 back 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 in the day and um just some of the little details he wrote as he was making the shoe as you do as a shoe designer you write down and say i think this should be that this should be that and they sort of added it to the shoe who knows if this was actually how it was going on like there's still rumors about the whole tinker threes that there wasn't really ever a sketch with a swoosh on it but we'll never know but still a sick concept nonetheless but yeah some of the details that you'll see on the shoe as i said it's all in this black new buck pretty lovely feeling as well one thing you see on the little toe box here, which isn't a perforated toe box, it isn't mesh. It's all done in this new buck and it says, add you throat. Something that's actually missing from the OG red sketch to shelf pair, but the black schematic one, it does actually have it. That is a big deal as well. Missing on the other pair is, it's kind of eye-catching. It makes the toe box look a bit too long, but on this one, you have your you throat, which is this little area here on the front of the shoe. Uh, on the lateral side here, it says lateral view of the shoe, which is another cool little touch. Then it's got quarter hair for the quarter panel. Then it says uh, sharper swoosh, probably something that he thought about with the swoosh design to have it a little bit sharper to make it look a bit better. Then it says seven millimeters, which I assume is just the spacing between this gap and this gap. Then it says Air Max Visible Air. This was one of the first, I think the first, yeah, the first Air Max shoe with the visible air bubble. Obviously Air um, Nike Air shoes have always had it, but it was sort of hidden underneath the sole where this one had the visible air bubble. So it says Nike Air Visible Air Bubble, very, very cool. Back of the shoe, it says Nike Air, but on the second pair, which is extra cool, it has uh, Tinker's signature there, and it has the date on it, which is the 23rd of the 7th, 86, which I assume is when the design was either complete or when this whole sort of design thing had happened. Uh, let me check, I think it's actually different. Mm, no, a lot of it is the same. 
yeah, a lot of it is the same. So, yes, we can stick to. We might as well go for the shoe because it's got the <laughs> signature on it. Uh, on the medial side, you find at the toe box here it says faster toe box. I wonder what it was referring to there. I guess these shoes were technically like a running shoe kind of thing, trainer. So maybe it had something to do with that. Uh, two square. I don't know. One part, hey, I guess he thought it was two square at one point. Obviously, medial view, as we should have on this sketch to show you what it looked like from this medial angle of the shoe. Uh, alongside the midsole here, it says first RD sample. RD. I don't know. If you know in the comments, tell me what you think that one means. And then towards the back, it says note all changes would also occur on the women's version, which is cool. So when he's making the women's uh, Air Max ones as well, basically stick to the same thing. Uh, shoe also comes with uh, black laces. I don't believe there's any spare ones. I'll just have a browse to check. 12 seconds later. And no, no spare laces. That would have been a nice touch. Although stealth black makes it look sick, but I wonder, I wonder, with some white laces front on here, would these just look absolutely bonkers? I might have to do it, even though I hate taking off laces, but I might have to do it. Uh, the tongue itself, all in black mesh with Nike Air Max on it. Standard, standard stuff. Uh, the insole inside this one is black with Nike Air and this pair. Same thing again, nothing special to see there. And I think that is pretty much, oh no, 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 no. Uh, bottom of the shoe is done in this sort of translucent blue, but obviously because the midsole's black, it's not super duper like translucent looking it's got the little black bit underneath it but very cool and obviously you've got this white piping going along the midsole as well this shoe is so fire i just cannot believe it uh obviously white tips on the laces hair and the top two eyelets again done in white and then along the foot collar hair it's got these black and white stripes so just so much detail super duper fire and what else is on hair I think that is pretty much it besides obviously the white stitching going on around the shoe which makes it just look super duper sick. Gotta chuck these on feet, show you how dope they are. Lego. That was a quick look at the Nike Air Max 1 black schematic or black sketch, whatever you want to call it, on feet. And uh, yeah, super duper comfortable as you expect for an Air Max 1. Sizing wise fits like all your Air Max 1s do. And when putting on the shoe, I noticed another thing that I hadn't noticed before, which is crazy cool. Uh, inside the shoe here, it says sample, property of Nike, not for resale. Obviously, I have to take a picture so you can see inside that, but what a cool touch. And yeah super duper happy with this shoe um i hope that they release it elsewhere because in the uk all i saw was on the sneakers app uh other sites other shops had the og red ones but not many people seem to have had this one so hopefully it does release elsewhere so other people can cop because these are super special i went to crep city on the weekend some dude had this for 450 some had them for 400 but looking recently on StockX and stuff, seems to be more around the 200-ish range. So not too shabby if you're gonna pick these up on the resale market. Probably better off going now before it gets a bit crazy, unless there is actually another release coming to pick up your pair. But yeah, very happy to get this shoe. If you've not seen it before, I'm sure you like it as well and want a pair. These are super duper fire. But anywho, uh, follow me on Instagram, Ashbrash Sneakers. Dope pictures pretty much every day. And like and comment, subscribe to this video because there's always more videos coming out. There's always another pickup. I've actually got, I did a video recently about an epic haul which had 11 sneakers in it. And since then I could probably do another one with even more sneakers. So I'm a crazy guy. There's loads of videos coming up on this channel. I'm out, let y'all.